Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I like to talk to you about driving on a hill doing the clutch control or how to use the clutch when you are driving on a hill. Many learners, they get scared when they are driving and they stop on a junction, especially when they stop on a traffic light on a hill and they are the first car they get scared to move the car off because they're the first car on the traffic light and it's on a hill. Let's start the lesson. So as you can see, we are now actually parked up on a hill, okay? So we will move off from here so you can so you could see how the clutch is working, how the fit is working when we move off on a hill, okay? So for you to move the car on a hill, clutch down, first gear, and then we give gas we say set the gas meaning around 2000 rev because that's how much we need to move the car on a hill if it's hill give a little bit more gas than normal if it's flat road maybe about 1500 rev and if it's hill give about 2000 rev why because it's on a hill you need more power to move the car okay so remember that when you're moving off on a hill make sure the gas is a little bit more than normal because it's on a hill you need more power so i'm giving around 2000 rev okay so i've so clutch is down first gear i've already given gas around 2000 rev okay i bring the clutch up to the biting i need to feel the bite how do i know i could hear the engine noise changes and also the bonnet goes up a little the bonnet start to go up a little okay because the handbrake is on car wants to go it can't go because the handbrake is on but i could feel the bonnet is up a little bit that's how i know that's the biting okay so now i know that's the biting i will look around look at the blind spot signal there's nobody there blind spot again and handbrake off slower than normal so i feel the car going forward it's going forward blind spot again okay second gear so as you noticed I gave a little bit more gas than normal because it's on a hill also I bring the clutch up to the biting how do I know that's the bite because I could hear the engine noise changes also the bonus goes up a bit and also take the handbrake off slower than normal feel if that's the biting because if it's not car is gonna start to go back okay so how do you know so how can you confirm that's the bite? The way you do that is you bring the clutch to the biting and take the handbrake off slower than normal. So you could feel and you could confirm if that's the bite, okay? On the roundabout, many one are gonna go right, mirror, mirror, signal right. Second gear, look on my right, no one coming. The van, is waiting for us because they are on our left mirror mirror i don't have to signal as i come off because it's a mini one okay when i'm not using the feet should be on the floor now this road is 20 so i'm driving 20 and it's hill uphill as you can see now because i need more power on a hill i'm not going to go up gear to third gear normally on 20 you go to third gear but because it's on a hill try not to go to third gear because you need more power so i left on second gear 20 miles per hour because the road is 20. that's another thing you need to consider when you're driving on a hill is the gear okay lower gear gives you more power i need to keep enough space from the van around here and break on neutral as you can see the van they don't have a top mirror so they need to see us on the side mirrors which means keep the gap a little bit more than normal normally enough for us to go around but because it's a van and obviously i'm driving a smaller car so i'm going to keep the distance a little bit more than normal why so they could see us on their side mirrors like i said as you can see the van they don't have a top mirror so they can't see us on their top mirror they need to see us on their side mirrors so if it's a van like that, try to keep the distance slightly more than normal so they could see you on the side mirrors. There's nobody there. Mirror, second gear. When 
you know using the clutch make sure the clutch feet is on the floor because many learners what they do is they cover the clutch at all time you don't need the clutch if you don't need it put it on the floor and all you need is your right feet on your gas or accelerator so we are coming up to few hills when we do you could see how the feet is working how the clutch control is working crossroad coming up we're gonna go right mirror mirror we're not gonna signal before that now signal right this is kind of on a hill as well and also it's a close junction so I have to stop so cover the brake and the clutch clutch down first gear now I gave gas and clutch with the biting point okay I'm looking both way so I got enough gas clutch with the biting and I'm edging I can't see anything so I'm edging with the clutch no one coming clutch up slowly hold the clutch and all the way up the clutch mirror second gear now here there's another hill coming up end of the road we're going to go right mirror mirror signal right i can't see anything because it's a closed junction so what am i going to do i'm going to cover the brake and the clutch put the clutch down and stop handbrake on first gear give gas to the biting i'm looking both way i'm looking clutch with the biting handbrake off slow there's two cars coming i'm ready I got my handbrake ready, clutch up slowly to the biting, hold it to the biting, hold it to the biting and gradually bring the clutch all the way up, mirror, second gear, okay? There's a roundabout coming up, it's on a hill again, on this roundabout we're going to go left and then immediate right. So mirror mirror signal left cover the brake and the clutch okay push into first gear no one coming on my right give gas to the biting as you can see is biting biting we're gonna go right here I'm still doing the clutch control okay I'm, I'm basically driving with the clutch control okay I go enough gas clutch control and then gradually bring the clutch up all the way okay mirror second gear so as you saw I did the whole turning with the clutch control because it was too narrow it was too small and I couldn't go to second gear so what did I do keep the speed low I had to do the clutch control all the way around so I had enough gas around two and both the clutch to the biting and I hold it to the biting so car was I was driving with the clutch control okay mirror but leave it to second gear because of those speed bumps in between give a little bit more gas and then you go another speed bump slow the car okay so when you're driving the speed bumps in between the speed bumps speed up a little bit more according to the road speed by the way you can't break the law okay and then because i got another one here i mirror slow the car a little bit okay so it's no point going to third gear if you got too many speed bumps close to each other okay now i go space so mirror third gear before the next speed bump i go the distance i could go to third gear mirror is the car trying to come out Okay, I'm going to see what the car is doing. The first gear. Okay. Always look out for other cars, what they're doing. Even though we got the priority, but people's going to do that on the road, okay? Is no one coming? Okay. The traffic light is red hopefully it stays to red so you could see how i stop and move off on a hill third gear okay mirror okay traffic light is red and it's on a hill so i'm going to stop around here because it says keep clear i stop here put the handbrake on neutral rest my feet because i'm quite far and the reason i'm keeping that distance in between because it says keep clear okay clutch down first gear gas to the biting handbrake off slower than normal and car, car is going keep the hold the clutch now gradually bring the clutch up again it's going to red of course clutch down and i stop here okay handbrake on neutral rest my feet i'm just gonna even though i'm the first car because it just turned to red i'm just gonna give few seconds 
and then I'm going to get ready because I'm the first car, okay? So I know that it's not going to change before them. So I'm just going to give you seconds while I wait here. And this is on a hill. So watch my feet, how I do the clutch control to move off from here. This is on a hill and many learners, they do get scared on the, uh, the first car in the queue, in the traffic light. And if it's on a hill, it's a challenge for them. They get scared. So hopefully this is going to help you how the feet is working, how to do the clutch control on a hill, especially on the traffic light. Okay. You're a learner. So in the beginning, I would say to you, get the car ready a bit earlier than normal. They started to go. So we know that it's going to be us after them. Okay. So if I were you, I would get the car ready. Clutch down first gear set the gas which is around two okay bring the clutch to the biting how do i know that's the bite i feel the engine noise and i feel the carbon going up a little bit that's the biting handbrake off slower than normal car starts to go hold the clutch now gradually clutch all the way up and give a little gas and then after the turn mirror second gear okay so if the turning is just as soon as you've um, uh, passing the traffic light, maybe change gear a bit later. Okay, try not to change gear when you're steering. Okay, mirror, third gear, traffic light gonna go right, mirror, mirror, signal right. So cover the brake, put the clutch down, handbrake on. This time the distance is not big as the other one, you know, the one van, because they could see us on their top mirror. So the only space we need to keep is for us to go around if they break down. That's the distance. So if they break down now, we have the space to go around. That's how much we need to keep. And the other one was the van, like I said, they don't have a top mirror. So what did we do? We kept the distance a little bit more than normal because they need to see us, like I said, on the side mirror. Clutch down first gear, if it's there, signal is there, mirror, second gear. I'm going to go left next road, mirror, mirror, signal left. This is again hill, and we're going to try to stop over there again. It's where we started from, mirror, mirror, signal left, and we're going to stop here, on this hill, okay? So now we put the clutch down and brake to stop, brake on, neutral, rest my feet, okay? We are back on the hill again, okay? So, so how do we move the car? Put the clutch down, first gear, then what do we do? Give gas. How much? Because it's on a hill around 2000 rev. Bring the clutch to the biting, to the biting. How do we know that's the bite? Because you could hear the engine noise and also the bonnet going up. Can you see it? The bonnet going up. So that's the biting. Then what do we do? Look around, blind spot. There's no one there. Signal and handbrake off how? Slower than normal. So you feel the car doesn't go back. Slower than normal. Car is going forward, handbrake off. Blind spot one more time. Hold the clutch. The car goes, give a little gas, clutch all the way up. Okay? So if you could watch this video a few times and you get understand, how I moved off and that's all you do just copy and you do exactly the same on a hill I hope this helps because many learners on the on the channel they do ask me to show them the feet how it works going uphill okay it's all about how the coordination between gas and the clutch how do you do the clutch control Speed bumps, okay. In between speed bumps, I'm gonna keep it, it's 20. Here, go to second gear. And the next speed bump is quite close. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna keep it to second. Okay, the next one is quite close as well. So it's no point changing to third. Leave it to second 20. Now mirror, just off gas, let it roll. Now mirror, give gas. Next one is quite close again. So I'm going to leave it to second gear. There's no point changing to third. Off gas. And just let it roll. Next road on the right. Mirror, mirror. Signal right. 
So if you drive on a road with speed bumps and they're close to each other, second gear is normally okay because normally those roads are 20 miles per hour. One more time, we're going to stop on the left under the tree. That's the hill again. Mirror, mirror, signal left. Okay, we're going to stop around here. Just to show you one more time, cover the brake and the clutch. Put the clutch down. Hambre on, neutral, rest my feet. Okay, how do I move the car off? Clutch down, first gear, set the gas. How much gas? Around two. When the clutch to the biting. I feel the bite, engine noise, bonnet goes up. That's how I know. Look around, blind spot, signal blind spot. Take the handbrake off slower than normal. Slower so I feel the car doesn't go back. Blind spot again, and it's going. Now give gas and gradually bring the clutch up. Mirror, second gear. Remember to hold the clutch when the car starts to go, okay? And then when the car moves off, give a little gas, bring the clutch all the way up. Two things I like to share. Number one, if you want to take mock test with me and you live in Southampton or maybe around Southampton or maybe you could come to Southampton because that's where I'm based and you want to take mock test with me, do contact me by email. I will leave the email on the description and obviously it's here as well if you want the email. Obviously it will be recorded and it will be on the channel and if you're happy with that to take the mock test, do contact and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Also, if you are learning and you need help on learning and passing the driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course. The course gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass the driving test. It has everything a learner needs. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read and if you like it, you could always join the course. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope it helps. Like I said, many learners, they, they did ask me on the channel to show them the fit, how it works, or the clutch control going uphill or driving on the traffic light, especially when you stop on a hill. So I hope this video helps. If it does, please do give a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.